Throughout his 26 years of coaching secondary, Dwayne Aquina has seen 28 of his defensive backs play in the NFL, including 14 from Texas. The physicality he emphasizes on the field is initially taught behind the closed doors of his meeting room. The Texas defensive backs he has guided to the NFL are immortalized on this wall and on film for his current Longhorns to learn from. We're going to talk today about the attitudes on, on effort and physical toughness and how we build all of that with the defensive backs here at Texas. So if somebody calls you just a cover corner, that's an absolute insult. What you want them to say about the defensive backs at Texas or them individually that I play defensive back, which entails being physical, you can cover, you can play zone, you understand the mental side of the game. And so the idea is once you spill blood for me, we're, we're tied together forever. And it is also an incentive for the guys in this room, as I'll constantly say as I'm going through, are you going to get on this tape? Will I be talking about you 10, 15 years down the road now? But it's also the idea if these drills were good for Michael Huff, Earl Thomas, Aaron Ross, Cedric Griffin, Quentin Jammer, Nathan Vasher, Michael Griffin, they're good for you too. All great players that have sat in these chairs that play have put on this tape great effort. Here's Aaron Ross, once again, going into his senior year, considered one of the top defensive backs in the country. B, out of the screen, not even in the screen, but just keep working. And that's got to be the attitude. That's, that's what this room has been built on, and that's what we need to continue. Michael Griffin. After a great Rose Bowl against SC, going into his senior year, but you can feel the strain right there. Continuing to work, beat, but you don't quit playing. Earl Thomas, midway through his last year here, having a great year. How he didn't win the Thorpe is beyond me. But great effort. He's down, get up, just keep playing. No physical tape should be done without Quentin Jammer. It's a good shot with Jammer right there against Oklahoma State, running through. We don't want to be known as a cover corner. That's an insult. Because if all you can do is cover wideouts, all you're going to look at is a tight end throughout your time here. Let's go back to the pits now, huh? Everything we're doing, we're putting physical on our tape. That's our signature. Said G, once again, throwing his eyes in their feet on contact. OU. See the drill on tape now. Watch Vasher come out of the screen here. I mean, look at, look at him just flash. Go get it. Good violent tackle right there. Watch Kenny on the lead block. Come get it. Now we got 360 on this one. It's a great job by Kenny. I, believe me, 33 knows who Kenny Vaccaro is after this game. Go out and gain the respect of your opponents. It's a great lick by Kenny. Here we got Ryan Palmer, all 170 pounds, maybe, okay? In a bunch formation, third and two, okay? Block down, block down, pull the guard, pull the center, 600 pounds coming at him, okay? Great job of Palmer accelerating his feet, getting through the lead block, work his way to the second one, stop, short. Fourth down, they got a punt. That's a 170-pound corner taking on 600 pounds of offensive linemen. But it's all about an attitude. It's who we are. It's how it's run. 1984. This clip is off of a, this is off of a 16 millimeter film that we had to cut out against UNLV. Randall Cunningham. Little screen. Rich Miano launching himself, going airborne over a screen. Once again, we're up and we're playing. And this will all spin into the toughness and the emotion and all those things that we need to have. Starts with a circle drill. Has nothing to do with technique. The only thing we're talking about here is just a mental mindset, a toughness. Quandre is in the, is in the ring. And then you can see, you hear circle drill, it brings back some of the old times. Look at said G, brought his kids. Look at a young Antoine Davis, bought tickets to come watch. But that's a great job by Quandre, dropping him. Ah, Duke Thomas, one-time quarterback. 
Get him, Duke. Great hand placement. Slips, doesn't look good. But just keep working, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Look at the crowd. You're bringing them to their feet, Duke. Beautiful. Okay, let's go through our tackling fundamentals, our tackling phase now. It all starts off with the fundamentals, with the targets. Okay, well, we'll just take a knee, throwing our eyes on contact. This is our Crowther drill. All the base fundamentals. We're working for a six-inch strike, eyes to the sky, keeping our eyes up with a violent punch now, low to high, violent. Snap, snap. It's a good job. So everything right there is just a six-inch punch with our hips. And that gets us low, our lower body involved, and this is where you get the big hits. Ahmad Brooks, this is the leading rusher in the country right here, Chris Brown, 230-pound back. That's a great strike by Ahmad on a bigger back. It's a great job with the drill showing. Kenny against Ole Miss. Man, it's a good job. Getting a 180 turn. We can play how far can you spin him. It's a nice 180 turn by Kenny. Got a notch on his belt. I think we're looking to go run and hide somewhere. It's a great lick by Kenny. Once again, take the extra step, finish violent. Michael Griffin said, that's a good lick right there now. Tackle in a hole, go get it. It's a good physical tackle. That's when I knew this tape was important, coming off the field on this play right here. Right after, Michael walked right past me and said, Coach, that tackle made the tape right there. Kenny, it's a great job on Kenny. Stay up. It's a good lick. <laughs> That's a good lick. Earl Thomas. I think this was a play that, that helped Marquise decide to stick with track that freshman year here. It's a great job of Earl. Watch him close. That's what it looks like right there. So you can see it's just a lot of physical play. A lot of players have been through this room. Guys have spilt a lot of blood for us. Who's next, as we say? Will you end up on this tape? Will I be talking about you in 10 or 20 years from now?